Today we're reviewing the iCODIS CB800 short throw projector. Uh, it comes well packaged. So we've got a cardboard sleeve. This did actually come in a separate freight box outside of this. And then we've got an additional cardboard box. And inside, again, well packaged. Lots of uh, card around the outside to keep it protected. We've got the user manual, and this is very well laid out, over 35 pages, with plenty of detail, uh, all of the things that are included, some additional things that you may need, uh, all of the components, buttons, all the ports on the back, how to install it, uh, gives you a table of distances and screen si effective screen sizes, how to use the tripod mount on the base uh, and all the remote control functions and then goes into all the details about using the different features, different modes, settings, 3D and a lot about the 3D function to get the best out of it and all the different formats covered and then how to use different cables to connect to it. So that's the manual which is uh, very good in itself and then we've got over here we've got a box of the accessories I'll just put that on one side and we'll get the projector out so again the projectors nicely wrapped and protected and you can see so it's got cooling vents on the front the lens you've got an adjustable foot to help uh, angle it up if it's on a, on a tabletop or desktop you've got stereo speakers you can see behind the grills and then on the back you've got all of your connections so you get a Wi-Fi aerial to connect onto there it's got wired Ethernet you got USB 3, USB 2, two HDMI sockets, uh, a VGA power. You've got your infrared. It sensors. I haven't had any problems sensing from either the front or the back. Uh, you've got AV input there, but you've also got headphone output. So if you're listening, uh, you're watching a film, say on your own, and you don't want to use the inbuilt speakers, you can use the AV there to uh, uh, the headphone socket there to plug in your own headphones. You also in the back got an SD slot and a nice touch is that the SD slot actually contains a branded SanDisk 8 gig SD card which is not normally the case. Uh, this is uh, from what I found a very high quality projector and the image quality is brilliant. So let's have a quick look at the accessories. these all out and go through them. So we've got a book of uh, tissue paper for cleaning the lens. So not just one little soft cloth, you've got a whole book of uh, lens cleaning tissue so you're not taking off muck and then potentially rubbing it back on again. You've got a HDMI cable, not the highest uh, grade thickest cable but it's a sufficient cable that's a meter in length we've got the power cable now this comes as a two pin European plug but they do also provide the adapter so with that plugged on there we're now fine for UK we've got a standard 15 pin VGA cable we've got that AV cable that will plug in the AV socket here we've got the Wi-Fi aerial which is usual uh, tilt and swivel and last but not least we've got the remote control 
about the only thing that is not provided is two AA batteries, the uh, AAA batteries actually, for the remote control. So, pop a couple in here. And what we can do is quickly power this up and you'll see just how bright and clear the image is. So I'll take the lens cover off. Plug it in. And I have already watched uh, 3D uh, films on this using the side-by-side -side recording feature. So I've put them onto USB, plugged them in, and you can then select side-by-side -side or top and bottom uh, from the menu as to how the 3D is encoded. So that's now just booting up. So the other thing about this projector is not is it not only is it just a projector but it's also got Android built in. So you can connect this to your home network or office network and you can access YouTube content, uh, you can access things from any media server you can connect to uh, and as you can see that is a very bright, I'm in mean a brightly lit room and there is no issue with the brightness of this image and it because it's short throw you can get a very large image uh, without moving very far back in a normal room uh, on a table height if it's turned to the ceiling it would fill half of the ceiling of a probably five or six meter square room uh, very big so if I just pop in the uh, USB It then detects. There you go. So it wants to know do I want to have a look at the content? And I can look at video. That's. Now I'm going to go for all. Local disk. My stick. So I've got 3D videos there. I'm going to go for a 3D. And this is a sample, one of the sample ones I downloaded. I have uh, various others. And as you can see, currently it plays in the side by side. So there we go, that is the iCodis CB800 short throw projector, thank you.